Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve. I'm here doing the first ever group stealth camp. There is a documentary crew that has drove all the way up from Ohio and crazy neighbor Yo. <laughs> is gonna drop us off uh, at the billboard I was camping at before and we're gonna try to sneak into the woods a little further. There's a golf course. We're gonna see what works because we've all got hammocks and uh, this, is, this is gonna be a fun time. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Okay, made it to the sign. Now we gotta get organized and slink into the forest. Allowed to open it. Obviously, a bunch of people filming this is not stealthy. That's okay. Uh, well, we gotta get all that in the woods um, somehow. At least it's only a few feet over. Just waiting, and we got a break in traffic. Uh, we got all the food in this garbage bag, but I don't want people to think I'm dragging a bunch of garbage into the woods, so. Let's go. Whew. Just a little more traffic and then we'll grab the remaining stuff and we can kind of relax and we'll just wait for a little before we set anything up to make sure that we weren't spotted and uh, people think we're littering or something. All right, oh man, there's a lot of stuff in here still. Trapping all my stuff. Okay, guys, we are on our own. Crazy Neighbor has just left. This is an obscene amount of gear. If we actually pull this off, it's just gonna be from luck and finding a good spot further away from the road there. Oh, yeah. So let's, uh, let's cache this stuff somewhere a little out of the way. Then let's go look for, uh, yeah. for a spot. Yeah. Okay, up the hill. Let's follow you. Sounds good. I don't know where I'm going. Where are we fasting at? A lot of, uh, a lot of decaying matter out here. If we're lucky, the hammock situation might actually work out in this little clearing area here. Awesome! This spot in the clearing looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to introduce the crew here. Uh, we got Ethan, Gabe, and behind the camera over there getting some shots for their documentary. Is Mark. And these, uh, these guys, they're in film school. They wanted to do a documentary um, about camping with Steve and stealth camping for some reason. So they're coming along on this trip. Um, the way the, the filming schedule worked out, uh, my weekly video is with the group here uh, doing this. So we're all gonna be using hammocks tonight. And let's see if these trees will actually work. That one looks pretty dead. I wouldn't, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't wanna do that. But uh, we'll look around. I like this area because it's fairly close to the road but far enough away, and I can actually see the greens of the golf course over on the outside. I think, I think we might be on a golf course property. Hammocks are the perfect thing to be using for this camping trip. With the three of us, they will blend in if we can get them fairly close together. Of course, finding trees spaced the perfect distance is always a hassle. So pretty much I just, I'm gonna walk around with a hammock and we'll do that with the other ones as well because they're different design than what I got and they're going to take different spacing so I'll just kind of lay it out alongside of the trees and uh, this model has a zipper on one side of it so in order to remember which side the zipper's on it's had a little knot in there so I know I normally sleep on this side so this will be my head the head will go right the this and now we know I think we can get three of these set up on these trees here, and then another one probably coming out at a different angle. So, let's see if we can do this. <laughs> yeah. With summertime, you can use the summer sleeping bag. Look at this thing. Tiny. We 
we got no shortage of tarps, uh, so that'll be good. But I'm terrified of what this thing actually looks like from the road. I don't even want to go down to look right now. But uh, if we can pull this off with four people, uh, that wins the year. <laughs> Before we get too much further and before we get too comfortable set up here, I'm taking a peek. Um, I can see the road very clearly. I really hope they can't see us. I can see a little bit, not our hammocks though, but uh, we got to uh, move some stuff here real quick. Hey guys. Yeah. We're going to have to move anything that's uh, neon blue, pink, purple. Uh, Shiny. <laughs> uh, we'll just have to get it on the other side of the tarp. And I will... Do you think it would be worth it to put this big tarp up just to cover this tiny part? No, probably not. This thing's cool. It's going to be completely enclosed with like a triangle of hammocks and then two of them under there. It's going to be great. But it is damp, humid, and moist. So i got to start that thermocell. Not a moment too soon. This encampment is... Whoa, okay. We've seen what happens when I light it right away before. Shelter is set up, yes. time for uh, step two. And you guys are a fully legal age to be drinking in the state that you came from. Uh, no. Mm. Bottoms up. <laughs> My mom's gonna yell at me. Okay. Uh, all right then, <laughs> step, two. step two. We're gonna go on a hike uh, to see how close that golf course is. And uh, Another thing, these guys are actually legal drinking age to be drinking here, so I was not contributing to the delinquency of minors. Okay, there's a golf cart like right there. Okay, yeah, there is a golfer right there with the golf cart, so we are, yeah, we're like right in the golf course. So from here, I can kind of see because I know where we are, but I think that's okay. Uh, that's not too shabby at all. What I want to do is do a quick sweep around the area for any signs of bears. I don't expect there to be any problems because there uh, is a highway and a golf course close by. So people would report those things and animal control might set up a trap or something and relocate them. So I don't see anything yet, but I'll keep looking. We're on a game trail, and this is where any bear evidence would be, and I don't really see any. And um, bears, you'd know, because they go to the bathroom about five times a second. That's not stealthy. <laughs> Looks like there's an old quad trail here, and uh, I don't see anything at all. There's some golfers right there. I don't know why people are golfing so late. Some of us are trying to camp. From here, the golf course is like literally 20 feet over there and our campsite is probably about the same. So we're about 40 feet away from the golf course. And it's a clear shot from here to the camp. And I'm gonna walk towards it and we'll see when it comes into view. I can kind of see the ridge line of one of the hammocks, but uh, let's, uh, let's find out when it comes into focus. They exclude me from huddles talking about their documentary. Tonight we're cooking up some taco salad. See, I brought a working 
stove today. Whoa! Okay. Why does this always happen? You're like a shoot out of this thing. Okay. We'll let this calm down a little bit and uh, we're gonna be, we've got dietary restrictions today. So we're gonna do chicken and beef uh, to keep everybody happy. <laughs> That's okay, I don't mind. Normally cook for four, today we gotta cook for like 16 now. Golfers won't suspect a thing when they smell taco meat wafting through the golf course. Just dump in the seasoning. I'm not draining it and then adding water like the instructions want. So the, the crew is still here. They're just kind of in the background. And we'll, we'll chat with them in a bit. They just want to get um, the footage uh, that they need for what they're filming. The best part of the documentary. They're going stealth camping after all the interviews and boring stuff and now we're actually in the woods. Gonzo style documentary. I love it. Right. We gotta make some nachos here. Because it's not a taco salad without nachos. Great, it's starting to rain. Just what deep fryers like. Good one. Let's uh, eat some nachos. Mm. <laughs> These go quick. Mm, I don't. Let's see how I do. <laughs> Might get fired. Don't burn him. Like my YouTube channel is under Mac, oh, yeah. which is my typical nickname. I don't know why we decided on taco salad because that was a little involved for four people on the side of the road. <laughs> so dig in guys, we got our own uh, Make your own taco salad bar here. We got chicken, we got beef, uh, diced tomatoes, green onions, sour cream, salsa, chips, Texas Mexico cheese, um, and a little bag of lettuce. <laughs> Plate review. Mm. Okay, look at this. Here we go. Loaded taco salad. Despite the absolute inconvenience for a stealth camping meal, I'm really glad we made this choice because this is good. Nice switch from hot dogs. So you guys drove all this way and you're sitting in the woods beside a highway. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't get any better than this. Ohio. So, at any point, were you guys thinking we shouldn't have done this? <laughs> I wouldn't it say. 10 PM we hadn't eaten yet. <laughs> I was starting to get angry. I wouldn't say we shouldn't have done this. More of like, we're actually here. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're totally in over our heads kind of thing, but you know, that's to be expected. You know, you can never really fully prepare for something like this. Mm -hmm. Why on earth didn't you pick like a, a more normal subject? <laughs> I mean, it was normal as lame. Yeah, what's 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 there to say about a normal yeah. subject? Well, some people have impressive skills that. Um, Probably a lot stealthier than me. Like this doesn't really look stealthy, especially with your glow-in-the-dark shirt. <laughs> I, you can't really tell yet. Brings a glow-in-the-dark shirt. I'm like, look, I I have a hoodie. <laughs> I have a hoodie. Oh. 
But also, I did bring a glow in the dark shirt. <laughs> okay. We got a vehicle that stopped right there, backed up, and put on his lights. And I don't know if it's a cop, but it might be. That's 100% the police. 100% the police. I can hear them talking to each other, but we're gonna lay low here because even a bylaw infraction, we don't want um, our guests from the states here to get in any trouble. Okay, so what did you guys think of that? So, uh, we were already as strung out as can be. We were a little bit on the strung out side. But, so now I'm even more strung out because that It was stressful. It was very stressful. Because <laughs> we've had a run in with the cops before like yeah. this. And yeah. that would not be cool in a different country. No, yeah. <laughs> like I figured this would be an easy, an easy one with not really any risk. But uh, yeah, they parked there for for quite a while so it was like 20 minutes it was like, at least 20 minutes yeah and like we could hear them talking but i just thought it was so weird because about five minutes in like no one was coming to look for us that's yeah. why i was just like and the cars were just turned off sitting there yeah i've never seen police behavior like that mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i couldn't tell if they were both cop cars or not i think looked, they were it looked like there was I think two one of them looked like a sheriff and mm -hmm. they do mostly traffic yeah. and i think the other one i saw the rcmp logo on it i'm i'm pretty sure you know, they didn't come here for us, yeah. um, but we had to shut everything off and lay low because if they did see something, they'd have been up here in a second, you know, okay. little candle flickering in the tent from, okay, so we're gonna have to, to do some stealth camping um, training. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, just go to bed and we should be okay. Yeah. Just don't <laughs> snore too loudly. <laughs> yeah, goodness sake. Yeah, because if, if I invite a documentary crew to come out and they get me busted, <laughs> <laughs> another car pulled up. Um, I'm gonna go see what this is in a second. Just gonna make sure they're not coming up with flashlights or anything like that. The two of them are back. Just parked there. They're talking to each other through the windows. So they don't know we're here. And we don't want them to. But they picked a really inconvenient spot to park. One of them left. I think they're yeah, I think they're traffic enforcement, but um, I also don't think they'd like what we're doing. I guess we just gotta go back up and wait and hope that's not where they set up all night long, because that'll be nerve wracking. They drove away um, for the second time, and so we've spent the whole evening hiding. Um, I'm up here still with Mark filming. The other guys are asleep, I can tell, because of the snoring. And we're just kind of hanging out to see if anything else happens. Uh, and to clean up uh, the dinner. I still haven't put the stuff away because we were kind of interrupted there and spent the whole evening <laughs> hiding behind trees in the woods uh, filming some law enforcement. So. <laughs> okay, just crawling into bed. Uh, the guys are asleep, most of them. Looks like Mark's just about asleep. And we haven't had anybody return. So yeah, we just laid low all evening. And uh, morning comes quick, so... Um, I don't know how much of a time lapse I'm going to get tonight. Uh, my battery's pretty well dead on the GoPro. It uh, got bumped and started recording when we were traveling, so... I hear the guys are up already. Um, oh, of course, it's after nine o'clock in the morning. So, uh, 
Oh, I wanted to sleep in a little bit more, but... Um, yeah, stealth camping does not go until, like, sleeping till noon, sadly. Um, let me check things out here. Okay, so this is the setup uh, for last night. It's, uh, two hammocks over there. some tarps up here, another hammock there, and of course, this one here. Yes, um, yes, the thing that looks like a homeless encampment. Uh, so, um, actually, it was stealthier than I thought, because when we went down and we were looking um, from the roadside up there, uh, well, we were hiding from law enforcement, uh, the, um, there was some trouble finding it on the way back, so we were like, you know, maybe 10, 15 feet away, and it wasn't until we got that close that we could actually kind of even see it, so, um, it worked well for what it was, this wasn't exactly, um, the way a normal video would go, uh, <laughs> I think it's uh, it was a little difficult with uh, you know two separate things trying to be filmed at once. So uh, this probably doesn't have the flow of a normal video, of course. So we're pretty much packed up here. Crazy Neighbor is on the way to come get us. And we're gonna drop some stuff off down where he's gonna pick us up. And then we're just gonna have to go through real careful and make sure that there's like no garbage left behind at all of any type. Um, even stuff that was here before we were. Because with four people, it can be a little more confusing to keep track of what happened. So uh, we don't want to leave any messes. And better than we found it, right guys? All right, yeah, let's... Uh, Bring some stuff down downstairs. All right. Yeah, he's here. Let's go. Hey, crazy neighbor. Okay, a little more stuff to bring. This will take a couple trips as it did on the way in. Final sweep, we got everything. And it's time to roll. Uh, that was a, yeah, a bit of a nail biter last night. Oh yeah. And uh, <laughs> poor guys, uh, they didn't realize, but they're probably not allowed back in Canada now. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> time to make her getaway. All right, see you guys. Yeah. Bye. Drive safe. Oh, I didn't shut the door all the way. Thank you, bye. <laughs> Cheers. Um, Mark, Ethan, and Gabe have uh, left back to Ohio. So that's a big drive, 30 plus hours for them. And they're camping along the way. Um, so it's uh, going to be a long drive, but it was an absolute pleasure to have them up here for the week. Uh, really stand up young guys. Um, I think they're going to go places. They gave me hope for the future of this world. So 
we got along awesome. Um, it was a good five, six days out here traveling around. Uh, got to go to places that I haven't been in a while, uh, which will be in the documentary. Now, I don't know when that's going to go uh, up uh, or be live or where, but you'll hear about it, of course, uh, from me as soon as it does. Got along with the guys so good, in fact, that next year I'm working on a bit of a project because I love the concept of having a cameraman. Uh, that would be just incredible. So if I had a kind of a crew, I could film my special projects I've always wanted to where I can uh, do a little bit more than just, you know, a 20 minute overnighter in a ditch somewhere. Um, do kind of a longer form video in a more professional way. So we'll see. Uh, I'm sure the documentary will come out and if that looks good and they haven't uh, made me look like too much of a lunatic, um, they're definitely welcome back to um, start filming some stuff next year. So again, different video from the usual. I know it's it's strange to see other people in a stealth camping video other than crazy neighbors. So uh, it's not a regular thing. I'm not going to have guest stealth campers with me, but this just worked out because they wanted to do this this gonzo journalism style thing where they're in the woods with me. And I said, well, sure. So uh, there we go. Um, we are going to be moving here. Uh, our lease is up at the apartment and we've had a bit of an issue here where just for safety reasons, I'm not going to get into it, but we have to move. Um, so there's uh, it's nothing to do with YouTube, nothing to do with um, anything weird like that, but there was an issue and there's somebody knows where we live that we don't want to. So anyway, with that said, uh, <laughs> we got to find a new place. I am optimistic that this shouldn't affect the videos too much because I've got some really good ideas really close by and we're actually taking off for our anniversary on a bit of a trip uh, and there are some spots along the way that I can film but we're not you know celebrating our anniversary so uh, yeah here I ramble on okay um, <laughs> I swear it's not to fill up the video make it longer um, I usually like to stop at 22 minutes but cheers guys thanks for watching um, we'll see you ideally on Thursday um, all depends what happens the next day or so but um, I had like a bit of a sinus infection that's gone now so I'm feeling like fit as a fiddle and uh, I'm trying to eat as healthy as possible, get good sleep uh, so that we aren't going to have any issues with video delays. But uh, be sure that uh, you you've subscribed if you want and if you've got the bell on, uh, that way you'll know uh, if a video is out of sync or a short a day or missing a day or a surprise one goes up, um, then you'll know. So cheers everybody, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.